Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at adding a new product. To add a new product, first of all we go to the products menu and then select the option called stock items. From here you'll see a list of all your current products and their prices and the groups they're in. To add a new product into the system, we click on the button called new stock item. Here you'll be presented with two options, use counters and manual entry. The use counters option will just give you the next available product number in the list. Manual entry will allow you to specify a unique product number to the item. For the purposes of this video, we're going to look at use counters. From here, we can see we've got the letter range A and we can see the next number it's going to give us is number 54. So if I click on there, you can see it's now given us a stock code of 54. In here, we enter the description. And when I click in the next box, EPOS description, you can see it duplicates whatever you've typed in description. The difference between the two is description is how will the item will appear on your reports and statements. EPOS description is how it will appear on the button on the till screen. So if, for example, you have a product with a, a quite a long description, you can shorten it for the till button just so it's easier for the operator to see. We then set the sale price and then you set the stock groups. So for this example, we're going to set it as a food item and we'll set it as a hot food item. Depending on your setup, you may well have different stock group options. Stock group four is used if you want to mark the item for cold food takeaway scheme. If you need details on what items qualify for a cold food takeaway scheme, please ask someone in your finance department or consult our help desk. The general rule is cold food items prepared on site that can be eaten outside the restaurant. For example, sandwiches, wraps, etc. Once you have these boxes set, we then click on save, which brings you to a list of other options. If your site uses barcode scanners and you want to add a barcode for this item, simply click on barcodes, then click on add a new barcode, and then you just enter in here the number that appears on the barcode on the item and click save. To go back to the main product description menu, click on this icon here, which you can see is, is entered with the product number. If you need to change the VAT setup for these items, so for example here, here we can see the purchase VAT code is set as standard and the sales VAT code is also set as standard. If for any reason the item in question is exempt from VAT, simply click on the drop down and choose the exempt option. Once all your information is entered, simply click on save and your product is now saved. 